my fellow griefers and trolls. Eric the Plague Doctor, 981YT here. And Bicos. Welcome back to more um, Fallout New Vegas. So, in the last one, we found Cass, but she, uh... She didn't exactly want anything to do with us. <sighs> so, uh, she recommended we came here. To, uh, talk to Alice, uh, McLarfey. About, uh, yeah. Welcome back. I'm afraid we have no current openings for caravanners or guards, but I am in need of a runner. I'll take it. What do I need Deliver to do? Deliver this invoice to Dr. Hildern. You can find him somewhere inside Camp McCarran. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, I took a little bit longer than a nap uh, of a nap than what I intended. So I'm a little late on the streaming, but I still intend to stream this game for two hours. Can't I find the song? Uh, song. Um. Quest is what I meant. Um. Believe it was. You can depend on me. Okay, here it is. 
Alright, uh, Camp McCraven. That's the NCR area, um, maybe. All this to complete the the quest for the Van Groffs. Patrol in the Mojave almost makes you wish for it. I'm very curious as to how many caps we'll get from working with the Crimson Caravan. You are the bitch, interesting. Is this person downstairs? Pleasure to meet you. I'm Dr. Thomas Hildern, Director of Operations, OSI East. I presume you're here about Vault 22? Wonderful. Straight to it, then. Have you signed the release forms? No? Doesn't matter. We'll keep that to ourselves. Vault 22. Where to begin? Imagine, if you will, the wasteland in bloom. 
vast fields of corn that grow from seeds and produce their bounty in the space of a month. Orchards of trees, their branches weighed halfway to the ground, hung with fat, ripe oranges, a harvest that could feed a city or a nation. And all of this, all this, requiring no more than a few drops of precious water and the efforts of only a handful of human farmers. Impossible? I'd say so. Maria, we have that in common. A year ago, I'd have said the same. But what if I was to tell you that the way can yield an endless bounty, and that the secret may lie a mere few miles from where we stand? We need only reach out and take it, and for that, I need you. Scientific discovery is never as simple as that. Isn't it? One directs one's efforts, or the efforts of others, toward a goal, and progress is made. It's a matter of incentives, nothing more. I believe that the inhabitants of Vault 22 unlock the secrets of vegetative growth. Plants are spilling from their gate. No one tends them, no one waters them. Yet they multiply and spread in all directions. Find the reason for this miraculous growth, and I promise you the OSI will see that you are generously compensated. Good. No need to check in with the NCR authorities. I can authorize your payment from OSI accounts. Vaults typically contain a server room on a lower level, where they would have backed up their research data. A computer room, you understand? Download all the information on the central server to your Pip-Boy, and you'll be certain to bring me any notes or samples that you find, won't you? Anything else I should know? I thought it was a fairly straightforward assignment. It's a simple question of retrieving the data, which shouldn't prove overly challenging. Downloading the data will be handled by your Pip-Boy. You might think of yourself as a mere means of conveyance. Uh, no insult intended, of course. Oh? What might those be? Yes. Goodbye. Yes? Something else you need Wait, to... Is this guy a ghoul? From Alice. I'll see that she's paid right away. Crimson Caravan runs a tight operation, even out here in the waste. Wouldn't do to keep them waiting. Was there anything else? Or were you just here about the... Yes, goodbye. Look at his eyes. That's... Aren't... Aren't only ghouls Did Dr. Like Hilder... That? This really isn't any of my business, but... Did he give you a job? I shouldn't say anything. I know that. But you're not the first person Hildren sent out to the vault. There were a lot of mercs. One after another. None of them came back. Then, about a week ago, there was a scientist, Keeley. She's unusual. Not the sort of person you'd expect. But she's an absolute genius, and... And he didn't mention her? Not even her name? Or any of the other mercs? It never came up, but it doesn't bother me. No, I knew the danger wouldn't. I'm not trying to scare you off the job. Listen, I make a fair wage, but I'm not rich. Not by any means. Maybe my kind of money wouldn't appeal to your average merc. But I'm willing to pay you if you'll find Keeley and make sure she's safe. In right leaving her out there. No idea if she's alive or dead. That's all I ask. She might even be able to help you, as long as you don't speak too well of Dr. Hildern. Right, good luck. All right, so we got a quest regarding one of the creepiest vaults in the game.
I actually didn't know there was a quest regarding the vault. I just looked up the vault's location after hearing about it. It went straight to it to explore. That that's interesting that there's a quest. Wonder if all the vaults have a uh, quest related to them. wondering if there's a game other than the first Fallout where you can uh, play as the, uh, sorry, um, not play, um, go to Vault 8. Not sure how many people know what Vault 8 is. Or why it's so significant. But, uh, Vault 8 is, um... Vault 8 is where the OG Fallout villain, uh, the Master, also known as Richard Gray, um... was born. Welcome back. Well, you've proven yourself reliable so far. Would you be interested in more important jobs? What other work do you have available? As much as I like to handle matters personally, I can't be everywhere at once. There is a negotiation with a smaller trading outfit that I'd like resolved as quickly as possible. There's also the matter of Henry Jameson, an employee whose services I'd rather do without. His family connections make it difficult, however. And finally, I need someone to acquire the Gunrunner's manufacturing specifications. This job needs to be quiet. No alarms, no deaths. I want to know more about uh, Henry Jameson. The Jamesons are very wealthy ranchers back in Redding, California, and significant investors in the Crimson Caravan Company. I was pressured into posting young Henry as the manager of the New Vegas branch. As you can see, he wasn't exactly cut out for the job. He was much more interested in gambling and prostitutes, and because of his family, I can't simply fire him. Henry needs to be convinced to quit one way or another. I won't have a useless employee on the company payroll. I'll see what I can do. Actually, wait, no. 
What's the gunrunner job? The quality about? of the gunrunner's armaments is due to their manufacturing process. They craft all weapons on site. I want to know the secrets of their manufacturing process, which means you'll need to find some way to get inside their heavily guarded factory. I would greatly prefer that you perform this job undetected and without killing anyone, if it can be helped. All right. Tell me about the negotiation. There's a small trading outfit, Cassidy Caravans, that I'm interested in acquiring. They've been rather competitive, so it's time to buy them out. I have it on good authority that the owner, Cass, wants out of the caravan business. Cass frequently trades with the NCR, so you'll likely find her at the Mojave outpost. I'll see what I Thank can you. do. Was there something else? It's been a pleasure. All right. Convince Henry Jameson to quit his position at the Crimson Caravan Company. Right, so I want to do Cassidy last. Let's do Jameson, the Gunrunners, and then finally Cass. What's up? hoping she doesn't have us go after the Von Groffs, because I like the Von Groffs. Once we get done with the Von Groffs, we can, um, we can go and join the Kings. Which, the Kings are probably my favorite of the different gangs. Shove off. You're making my luck turn bad. I'm here to talk about ending your employment with the Crimson Caravan Company. Fuck no. 
No matter what that old bitch McLafferty says, my dad said I could be in charge of the New Vegas branch. Besides, Ew. I got into a little money trouble with the Omertas. If I quit the Crimson Caravan, how am I supposed to get the money to gamble? Maybe we can make... Actually, wait, no. What exactly brought you to New Vegas? I wanted to be where the action is. So I got my dad to pull some strings and get me a cushy position with the Crimson Caravan. Everything was great until McLafferty came along. That old bitch is gonna hear about it from my dad. Just you wait. You see, sweetie, I don't think they will. Yeah, whatever. And he thought he could get away. Alright, let's wait to go, uh... Let's wait to go to a Alice McLafferty. <sighs> let's wait to go to Alice McLafferty, uh, after we've, uh, done everything. Handle buying and selling for the gun runners. Talk to the robot in the kiosk near our factory. Any chance I could get a tour of the factory? None whatsoever. Everything inside the fence is off limits, and the guards have strict orders to shoot to kill. A lot of our high end weaponry comes from pre war militatics. If our competition got a hold of them, it'd be bad for business. So, elaborate. Who are the gunrunners exactly? Makers of the finest high-grade weapons and ammunition in the wasteland. If you ever get your hands on a piece of sweet, deadly hardware, there's a good chance that it came from one of our factories. So, who's in charge? Exactly? Out here, we don't have boss. Me, the gunsmiths, and the guards all know what we're supposed to be doing. Working for the Gunrunners is a sweet job. None of us would dare screw it up. For around five years now, I handled the supply into things, materials and stuff. Later. Hello. Welcome, sir or madam. Do you wish to purchase something? Merchandise is constructed on site. This kiosk was specially constructed around me to deter theft and assault. I am ready to process our transaction. That's a lot of damage. Oh, they got the fat man here too. OK, 
Okay, I'm a little sad we have to put them out of business. Alright, now how do we go about doing this? Why are gun running specs without killing anyone? Okay. Hello. Welcome, sir. Or I. Well, since we're working for the Crimson Caravan... See, I almost want to buy a gun from them, but at the same time... I need, we need the cap so that we can get into Vegas to, <laughs> with Benny. Oh, we already have a caravan shotgun. Yes, 44, damage 10. Okay, we're already on our way to getting it. Um, let's see, incinerator. 22, the damage is 11. Uh, not the best thing we have, but fuck it.
come back and see us again soon. Can I help you? Later. Um, let's see, can we kill him? Sniper. Do you wish? Okay, that rifle's. Fuck is this? Is this like a sword? Oh, a hunting revolver. Um, incinerator. branch of the Gunrunners, supplying the wasteland with only the finest armaments since 2155. Come back and see us again soon. Twenty two LR is what we need. Welcome, Sir Orm.
need a lock pick of 50 to get inside. Come on out! Still though, let's sell all of our shit. Welcome, sir. Let's actually go back to the Crimson Caravan and check in with Alice, even though that wasn't my initial plan. Mostly doing that so we can save, uh, we can sleep, regain our health, and save. And then we can go back, save again, and try what, uh, that stupid bullshit all over again.
Welcome back. Yes, I had heard something about his untimely death. There will be a lot of questions from his family, so I trust you had nothing to do with this. I guess the one bright spot is that I can strike his name from the payroll after all. It's... I did have something to do with his death, though. That's the funny thing. Alright, now let's see if we can't find a bed we're allowed to sleep in somewhere in here. My money is on no, because we're vilified here. That's good that we have one here anyway. Oh, his is actually much higher than mine. The store is currently unavailable due to unexpected circumstances. Please come back later. Now oh, the pistol's better than the rifle. That's, that's interesting. Is that the same with the laser ones? It is not. God damn it.
Welcome, sir. that about not trying that again, Isaac? Why does it keep putting us back here when it's saving over there? That's dumb. Okay.
Actually, I've got another idea. Welcome, sir, or... Powder Gang Razzle Dazzle. understanding how we get in here. Because we can't pick the fucking lock.
Okay, that just ended up killing me. We stirred the hornet's nest. That's for damn sure. What now?
Alright, so Cass is the last thing we have on the agenda. Forgot about that. <sighs> Either way, we got all the shit we needed. Think of it, let's go through this gate right here. Oh dear. Finally done and over with. Hello.
You come around like a bad habit. What's on your mind? They want to buy Cassidy caravans? Don't they know it's burned to ash? No. Even times being what they are. Not sure I'm looking to sell. Even for all the whiskey in Reno. You haven't seen uh, the offer yet. If someone yet. came up to you and offered you a thousand caps for your name, would you take it? Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I don't want to answer anyway. Point is, I made the caravan. It's mine. Alice McLafferty, eh? No, I see the zeros, and I know she's good for them. Still, it's not about the money. Dad'd spin like a twister if he ever heard I sold our name for. Any Are you sure? Look, I know you came all this way, and that takes some drive, especially these days. Just doesn't feel right, trading history for a slip of paper. That... that's a good point. It's the caravan clearance that's got me stuck here. I'm sure this bar's getting tired of propping me up. Still, Jackson's not letting me out of his sight, as long as there's still trouble up north. You settle things with him, help the others around here too. I'll sign the paper, if it means getting out of here. Remove Jackson, you say? I think I can do that. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that he's in here, in the main building. Nothing but a bunch of NCR twats everywhere I look. Ranger Jackson! <laughs> I've been looking for you. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter.
In all honesty, what the fuck were they gonna do? Boy, do I have some stuff to sail. Oh wait, that's Bobby Pin. I'm not here to gain karma with the NCR, motherfucker. I hate the NCR. Ugh. Does no one out here Wait. know what went on at inside? <laughs> Great. You come around like a bad hat. <sighs> Guess that settles that then. Give me that paper. I'll put my name to it. No sense trying to hold the past between your fingers when it's nothing but dirt. All right. There you go. Caravan's yours. Feel kind of relieved, actually. Guess I didn't realize how much I was carrying around with just the name. No idea. We head back west? Though the idea of heading back there with my tail between my legs isn't appealing. You could come with Go me? Go with you? And why the hell would I do that? And why not? I could use someone who knows the roads. So you're looking for someone to help, not just tag along. Huh. Walking the Mojave with you can't be any worse than here, that's for sure. All right. I'm in. <laughs> what, didn't I see enough of the sights here the first time? Give this shit to the Crimson Caravan, and then, uh, <laughs> Jean Baptiste will be pleased. my word. Career of Evil. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna listen to after this. Uh, Career of Evil by Blue Oyster Cult. One of my favorite bands, too. Uh, 
got their start in the 70s, if I recall correctly. Welcome back. The Gunrunners will be looking for revenge for the murder of their people. I won't sell you out, but be careful out there. We'll be unable to make use of their schematics anytime soon. Not what I was hoping for when I asked you to do the job. Take your pay. Ca City Caravans has been bought out and is now part of the Crimson Caravan Company. Very good. On occasion, it's proven to be more profitable in the long run to simply buy out the competition. And this is one of those occasions. <laughs> CR fame game. It's been a pleasure. All right, Jean Baptiste. Birds of a feather. Let's see, where was Birds of a Feather again? It was on 148, alright. Alright, let's head in here, um, uh, sleep and save. Hello. Uh, oh, but yes, uh, interesting though, very interesting. Outpost behind. Oh, you're gonna be you're gonna wish you hadn't come with me, sweetie. Well, frankly, I actually don't I've never done birds of a feather all the way through, so I'm actually not sure what to do. What what they're gonna do with her. Um I really only ever did the part where you guard the door and then never went back. After that I joined the king and did stuff for them. I got a robot dog. Fun stuff. I actually am a fan of Elvis, which is part of the reason I joined the Kings in the first place. And I think it's kind of a cult type thing. It, it feels like a cult that worships Elvis, but at the same time, it's kind of just a fun thing that they got going on there. I'm not against it. What's up? It'd be funny, though, if there was, like, a rival gang, because I know there's a lot of reference to old blues and jazz musics. Uh, in a lot of the names and quests, uh, they got Frank's... Uh, and Marty Robbins, which is the more famous one uh, in the game soundtrack, but like, it's really cool though that how much uh, of the old world blues they have in this uh, game. All the homages. That's part of the reason I like it, actually. But it would be, but as I was saying, it'd be funny if there was um. It'd be really funny if there was a rival gang to the kings. Uh, called, like, the Blue Eyes. Because that's what uh, Frank Sinatra... And it's like a Frank Sinatra type thing. Because that's what uh, Frank Sinatra's nickname was, was Old Blue Eyes. Wanna get lucky? Head on down, I actually had a 
Frank Sinatra reference in Sabrina the Teenage Witch, uh, the original TV show. It was really cool. As I live and breathe, Rose of Sharon Cassidy, the late Rose of Sharon Cassidy, was hoping you were on that caravan record, but Crimson oh. Caravan and Van Graffs won't need to worry about you anymore. Wahhabi's well, ours, and we're shutting you down for good. Sounds good. Kill her. Waited too long to finish this. Last loose end, all wrapped up. <laughs> Hi, I'm John Baptiste, and you're about to stop being a pain in my ass. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Did you see the look on that bitch's face? Priceless. Anyway, Glory's been antsy lately because that big deal she's been working on is finally going down. If this thing goes down, we'll have it made. Fucking made, I tell you. Talk to her about it. I'm sure she'll want you along. And don't think I forgot your pay. A job well done is its own reward, but it doesn't pay for pussy at the local brothel, does it? Keep moving. Oh my god, my friend Timmy's gonna be pissed. She, he likes uh, Cassidy. How much caps do we even have now? 3,000? Is that. I think that's more than enough. Good, you're here. Do you remember that package I had you deliver? Well, the client liked the sample and put in a massive order. It's possibly the biggest order we've ever supplied. I've had to repeatedly assure my mother that everything will go smoothly. And that's where I'm hoping you'll come in. We'll be bringing an escort, and I want you on it. What do you say? Count me in! Perfect. We're still getting everything together, but I can always find a use for idle hands in the meantime. Once we're settled, we'll head out to the rendezvous point. They're taking an awfully long time inspecting the weapons. I'm beginning to think they're doing it just to unnerve us. Don't let them rattle you, though. The deal's almost done. There's just one last piece of business left. Speaking of which, I need you to listen to me very carefully. Things are about to get a little crazy. When I give the signal, follow my lead, okay? Got it. That's what I like about you. You follow orders, for the most part. Just remember to wait for the signal. I trust you find everything acceptable? Everything seems to be in order. Kaisar will not soon forget this. No, I imagine he won't. It's a trap! Fall back! The commander is dead. Kill them. Legion now.
be honest, this is the first time I've actually become an enemy of the Legion. Normally I ally myself with them. Good job. I need to work out some last minute details with our new clients, but after that we'll hush. I suppose you have a few questions. Just start at the beginning. Caesar has been making overtures to prominent suppliers for some time now. Usually, they're too scared of him to cross him and just pay or flee. I saw an opportunity and negotiated a deal with the NCR. I helped draw some of their enemy's troops into a trap, and they agreed to buy from me. Normally, those stuck-up bastards wouldn't have anything to do with us, but their situation is precarious, and this chance was too tempting. So now the Van Graffs are allied with the NCR? Well, not exactly. The deal wasn't exactly sanctioned by my mother, but she'll come around when she hears about the profit I made. If she's smart, and she is, believe me, She'll turn this to her own advantage and make a bundle off our new connections in the NCR. I thought you hated oh, them. I do. They're a bunch of corrupt, bullying fools who think they can tell everyone how to live their lives, and my family's fought them for years. But that's just it. Do you know how large the NCR army is? If they wanted to, they could have beaten us a dozen times over. Do you know why they haven't? Money. Every time things have gotten too tense, we've paid them off and laid low for a while. They're an enemy we can live with. This Caesar, on the other hand, is a different animal. We've heard reports for years from our agents to the east. He doesn't tolerate his enemies. He makes examples of them. And he doesn't have friends, only servants. And the Van Graffs serve no one but themselves. Given that, the choice was rather simple. Hardly. They've got a lot of soldiers, and slaves, but they don't come close to having the amount of wealth the NCR has. When I said we were going to be rich, I meant it. The deal I brokered with the NCR netted me five times what Caesar paid. Keeping Caesar's money was just a bonus. Huh. <laughs> what will you do It'll now? It'll be all I can do to supply the NCR with the amount of weapons they want, so I'll be pretty busy for the foreseeable future. Oh, you're probably wondering if you still have a job. I don't have anything open at the moment, sadly. But we're going to need all the help we can get transporting guns to the NCR. So stop by every now and then, and I might have a delivery job for you. And before I forget, here's your share of the take from the warehouse job. You can keep the armor. Thanks again for all your help. One thousand bottle caps! Holy shit! My favorite employee returns. What can I do for you? Of course. I'd say we got enough caps to go in there and pop Benny in the head. <laughs> the 
But first, let's uh, sell some stuff to people. You want someone hungry? Let's head over to Mick and Ralph's or whatever their names were. to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. If it can be bought, it can be... Stun Ralph's for all your shopping needs, sir. So is Mick and Ralph's out here, or is it in there? Ralph's is inside. Yep. What the Come fuck to was that? Ralph's for all your shopping needs. Mick and Ralphs. Okay. Okay, uh, by the looks of things, it actually might be out here. Nope, nope, uh, I'm full of, I'm full of shit. Come to Mick and Ralph for all your shopping. Uh, We've got stuff see. we're not even allowed to sell, people. By the looks of the map, it's like right next to the King's Impersonation School or something. Or in that general area, I guess. Come to Mick and Ralph. Mick and Ralph's is look. Mick and Ralph's is located just. The East Gate, you say?
Hi. Maybe it is on the other side. I don't know. Alright, let's, uh, let's go on the other side and look, uh, that way. I'm not quite sure how to navigate this. I think I've been to Mick and Ralph's exactly once. If it can be bought, it can be found at Mick and Ralph's. And then I haven't gone back, because I normally, like, go to the Von Graffs or other places. So I don't really remember where it's at, or how to get to it. That wasn't already apparent. <sighs> Just before the east gate. Alright, here we are. You're looking for guns, talk. Take a gander. Thanks. Welcome to Mick and Ralph. Have a look. Give me a shout if you need anything else. I can only imagine how many mods exist on PC to actually give them uh, all the merchants in the game more money. Because, like, there's a shit ton of them for Skyrim on Xbox alone. So I can't imagine how many there is on PC for, uh, yeah. Submit to a credit check. What re Thank you, sir. You may proceed. Where's that guy's body that got vaporized? Can we loot it? Or not? Betty, I. Coming for you! <laughs> hey, Frank Sinatra! Oh no. Oh no.